Assalamu alaikum, Namaskar, my name is Ruben and today is gonna be the day that I'm going to Pakistan. So you were invited on the plane. So I woke up this morning and I looked at my phone and I had a message from the Pakistani mission in Dushanbe, from the embassy. I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I give them a call and they're like, there is a flight going tonight, Islamabad from Dushanbe. So I looked online and I don't think there is direct flights between Pakistan and Dushanbe. And they were like, we can get you on there and I just have to pay in cash. I'm going to the bank right now. I really have to say like the hospitality and kindness from the Pakistan embassy and from the people from Pakistan has just been amazing. So if you are watching this video, I really want to stand still and thank you for your incredible support. And it's been very nice and been an absolute pleasure to be working with you. And I hope I'm gonna go. I'm so excited. <laughs> you look uh, memorable. Of course, I still have the problem, but I explained probably in one of my other videos. In Dushanbe, it's very hard to withdraw money with a visa card. Uh, actually, with a card that is not a visa card. So um, I'm gonna try to go to the bank right now. I feel kind of sad that I have to leave Dushanbe because I feel there's much more to explore and I've never seen the Pamir Mountains, but getting this chance is going so cheap to Pakistan is something that, you know, if it happens, I'm not going to say no. So I'm almost at the bank right now. I normally wouldn't flaunt like that, but I did it. Uh, the trick is when you withdraw money, don't ask for dollars, ask for the local money and don't ask for a ticket. When you don't ask for a ticket, it will work. If you do ask for a ticket, it will say the amount is too high, you reach your daily limit, the amount is too low. It's kind of like a software error. Even when it says the maximum you can take is 800, it's not true. You can take three and a half thousand. You just have to do it preferably in Russian and skip your ticket and don't do dollars and that's how you get your money after three days i finally resorted it and it's only because i walked in with the bank guys like i need money you need to help me so i'm gonna put this away very quickly and now i'm going to pakistan so i've been trying all morning to contact the airport to get the ticket done i even have a coffee right now with your name Hello. it's it's more complicated that's the full name Hedoyat. Hedoyat. oh it's not so bad actually it means guy guy okay he's a guy and uh, we're going to the airport we're on our way to the airport right now um, <laughs> so i think a good thing to know is when you go to central asia and this is even in cyprus a lot of times there will be multiple places in the same city with the same address or a similar ish address so the address that i put in was not the one it led us to an office <laughs> I think he's feeling very self-righteous right now. He was right. Okay, you're right. Okay. YouTube, you happy? Yeah, okay. totally. Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got my ticket. Finally. Yay. So I'm at the airport right now with my ticket, but nobody knows where my flight is going from because it's not a line flight. So I'm going to the information right now and see if they can help me out but i'm sure it's gonna work out but i have one hour for the check-in so i'm a little bit nervous so nerve-wracking when nobody knows about your flight but they finally knew what i was talking about they just said relax you're still on time it always gets me when i have to rush at an airport i'm like sweaty smelly now because i really freak out i don't want to miss my flight which has happened in the past so it's not for nothing and then when you're taking a charter flight for the first time in your life it's like what finally i got my ticket let's go okay here we go i'm the first person there's only like journalists and stuff this is such a cool experience no idea what's happening oh my god we're even filmed while we're going on board <laughs> so it's clearly a cool envoy Bye bye Tajikistan. So we're in Pakistan right now. That was a very comfortable flight actually. 
I never realized that the chartered flight was actually a diplomatic flight to Pakistan from Tajikistan. So there were journalists and all these important people and there was I. So I made it in. Okay, so the convoy on the flight was invited by the Tajik uh, ambassador. So he was there, there was a lot of welcoming and they asked me to stay, but I was kind of like, what am I doing here? I kind of got lost a little bit. So I just checked in. Normally, well, I went to immigration. <laughs> they were just laughing. So you were invited on the plane uh, from the ambassador, which is super cool. So thank you so much, Tajikistan. Thank you so much, Pakistan. It's been amazing that I've been able to travel like this. We really appreciate it. And to Tajikistan, I hope to see you soon again. But for now, I'm going to enjoy Pakistan. I'm like over the moon happy.